e hara a hikurangi he maunga neke neke. Tu tonu, tu tonu, tu tonu mai. Today I'm standing at the base of hikurangi maunga in the heartland of Ngati Paro. And over the next couple of days, we're going to do a bit of hunting with a few of the local iwi at a place called Hukanui and Kopata. But I'm looking forward to hearing some of the stories because apparently, according to Ngati Paro, when Maui fished up the North Island, Hukurangi was the first to appear. That's right. Moreira, Horota, Tawaka, Hukurangi, Tamaunga, Ngati Paro, Tewi, Ketamihi, Ketamihi, Ketamihi. Oh, and hang on. You fellas out there saying, what's that tiaroa fella doing in our rohe? I can actually fuck a papa back to Rongo Fakata. Go by kea. Go by kea. Ciao, lega. Mea nui rau atu te whakangau ki te haukainga nei o ngā pai maunga o rau kumara. Mai rā nō te ewi e noho nei ki te whāru a te puairoa ki ngā waiwai o hikurangi maunga e mauana ki a rātou tikanga whakangau. I te rā nei, kei te mau tonu e rā tikanga i ngā kaitiaki o te whenua. He rahi tonu ngā momo kararehe e whakangau tia ana ki konei, pērā ki ngā momo tia, Ngā pua ka kāpina kuki, ngā pua ka puihi, ngā koti, ngā kou pupukurua, ngā hipi, raki raki me ngā pua ka tari ana o ruhia i kokuhu mai ai ki konei. Ko enei mō mō pua ka e tino pirangi tiana e ngā kaiwhakangau katoa. I roto i ngā tau e hia ke e ngā kaiwhakangau kua whakawhiti atu i te awa nei me te whakaaro he patu kai te haere aki. I tā rātou hupoko pakaru ki te whakangau i nei wāhi, ka whiwhi i a rātou i ngā wākatoa. E hara i te mea ko te tō te kai whakangau anake, e ngari anō te waimari e hoki. Kua tino manāki ti a ngā whenu e karaputi haere ana i te maungo hikurangi, i te tuku me te patu i ngā puaka ki a pai ai ngā puaka mō te kai. Whakatū e whakataitai whakangau i ngā pōka tariana. Ki hai i roa, ka waimari e mātau i tō hungi o ngā kuri e tā hau pōaka. Kā tahi, kā tīmata te auruaru. Got him, bro. I mean, the other way. In the other way, bro. Yeah. Okay. One thing I can hear is a pig squealing. <laughs>
over the last eight weeks, bro, you've culled out 300, how many? 320 pigs? Yep. A few pigs. And soon as how many? Oh, at least 270 of them. All for the Marais, eh, and the locals? Mm -hmm. Yep, all two has been feeding on pork. I can see why you do that, all this rooty, and all these women paddocks all rooted up. Yep, they make a bit of a mess. Oh, we just had to knock it back. Just a bit of a job we had to do. Awesome, bro. Another one for the pot. No, oh, someone better do the big carry. I just carried your horse down the hill. <laughs> it threw me. I lost the bloomin' stirrup. So I had to stick old silver on my back. It's the one. Got the pig, we got the pig. East Coast style, on horseback. Now we're gonna give uh, his minge a bit of a singe. And then into the pot. And then it's my mate shot because I got there first. Yeah. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? <laughs> the blower but we'll do the old traditional song I've got the old Lucifer over here. What's that bro? Put a pile of rubber. Turex. With the old tyre. So when you put that rubber in the pig should come out of rubbery. No no. It should no. No? It'll come out with a manica flavour. No I mean rubbery as in lovely. No oh, lovely yeah. Yeah so Māori say with no teeth rubbery. <laughs> Mate, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it, all these mobs of pigs they're talking about. You haven't seen nothing yet. I tell you what, Dave. For a fellow who can't ride a horse, and a deaf bastard, he's still beating me. <laughs> I don't get beaten very often. It's a child of a trick, bro. We tell the fellow who can't hear, yeah, the pig's down that way, and we go the other way. So you've been chasing these pigs around these hills for a while, ever? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. These pigs over this way are a lot easier to catch than the other areas. Any racehorses back in Rotorua, mate? Oh, there's a few places around the coast here that are like racehorses. Nice eating pigs on the east coast there. Yeah? How do you figure that one? No pines? Oh, there's a few pines. But you can't beat those pigs who live in the native. Bit of native. And Monica and whatnot. Have you eaten a pine needle before? Tell you a young pig. What? Eighty months? Two year old or something yet? Not fair, they get that size in two years. Can you tuck it around? It might be a bit older. But it's um it's only got a young jaw. And apart from pigs, what other game you got around here, bro? Well game I see geese and pheasants all over the bloody place. You name it. Goats. Goats. Oh not so much around this area, but another area. Deer, wild cattle. And the sea. The wild cattle, eh? Still a few of those around, bro? Yeah, there's a few. Hey, they're not too bad to eat, too, eh? No, they're right. Right, get to a scraper ready. Don't tell anyone where you got it. Tell look at me, aren't we? Isn't that where we are? Yeah, that's right. We'll soon get that, we'll soon turn to black. I suppose all the locals just hunt for quite the way, bro. Yep, a lot of them, you know, it's all here. You're prepared to get off your backside and get out there and do it. Around Rotorua, there's not a hell of a lot of hunters, really. For the Is that right? No. Still here,
te mutunga mai o te whakangau, ka whai wahi ai ngā kuri ki te whakatā i muri i ā mahi nui. Ka mutu katoa ngā mahi ki te puaka tari ana nei, ana, ka tukua ki te kapatakai. Nā te moe moe a ngā koeke mō te pōraka kopata, ka whāngai a te whenua nei ki o rātou whakatupuranga mō āke ake. Te nānō koutou e mātakitaki maina. Tā tātou koru mō tēnei pō e pāna ki te manu e kia nei ko te pūtakitaki. Tino pai te pūtakitaki haikai. Mai te maramo tīhema ki te maramo maihe ka taka ngā huruhuru. E kia na koinei te wā pai hei whakangau te manu nei. Ko tēnei kōrero i ahu mai i tētahi o ngā papakāinga i te waipaunau. He maha ngā raki-raki te moana o Heremia. I hangaia ngā kaika katoa i te rohe o te moana o Heremia, he taiapa ki a haere tonu ki roto i te wai. I panahia ngā pūtaki-taki ki roto i ngā raihe nei, nā ka katia te keti. Ka are hoki ngā manu nei e tā e te rere. Ka whaiwhai haere ngā waka i ngā manu nei, huri noa te moana i te mutunga, Ka kuhu ngā manu ki roto i ngā kaika. Mā tēnei āhua, ka whiwhi i a whānau i tō rātou hea o ngā manu ka hopungi. Ka whai haere ki a kīrawa ngā kaika. I konei, ka mutu te whai whai hae. I tēnei wā tonu, ka haere ake ngā tāne me wā rātou tama i roto i o rātou waka ki te patu i ngā manu nei. Tētahi āhua tanga nō hei mau i ngā pūtakitaki ko tēnei. Ka tatari ke pupuhi mai te hau o te raki hau āu. Mehe mea, kai te pakite rā, kai te mākū rā nei, ka haere tonu ngā whānau ki te whakakorikori i ngā repo hei aru i ngā pākura. Ka rere tika tonu ngā manu ki mua tonu o te hau. E kaha nei tōna pupuhi ke hoki whakamuri ngā manu. Ka are noa ke eke te hāwhe hāora, ka pauka tō te kaha o ngā manu, ka ngenge, a ka taka ki raro. Ahakoa tā rātou tere ki te omu, he maha ngā tāngata me ngā kuri ki te mauatu i ngā pūtaki taki nei. Ko te nuingo ngā manu nei, ka are i kain, nā te māro rabo te miti me te maha o ngā whew. Ka are hoki ngā huruhuru i kohikohia hei mahi kākā. Ko wētahi ka tahuna, ka tangohia ngā whewa, a ka ko tututia. Koe nei wa tātou kōro mō tēnei pō, nohoro mai rā koutou i o koutou kai. Ka mutu te whakangau i kōpata i haere mātou mā te awa o moko iwi. I whare kia maunga whakangau haere ai. I reira i tūtāki nga tū mātou ki etahi atu kai whakangau. Ano he āhuru mō wai e nei maunga mō ngā pōaka e whenua tēnei e ata tiaki ana i te iwi kāinga. I konei ka kite tātou i ngā pōaka ki ngā wahi katoa. Ka mau te wehi. Big mob of pigs on this side of the river. What are we going to do now? The dogs are bailing one up down here. A holy one. We're going to go and see how big it is. 
Bu paraları mı galiba? Yeah, let him go. Mate, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see him. I've seen about 30, 40 pigs in these last couple of days. Oh, and no. ask why? Why there's so many pigs? Because Too small, they're going to let him go. That's why there's that many pigs. If you kill everything, well, you got nothing. You've got to look at the future. Come here, Off to live another oh, day. They go on too, bro. In the care to Mato, Maya Farakia Monga, Kitapuraka or Hikurani, to Atuitawa, Mangatangaru, Ireda, Kakita to Wa Mato Hua, Ari Hari Waito Ama, Itatia. He mea whakarapa tēnei mō mātou. Kā re tewi whakangau me te hunga nōna nei te whenua. He whakai ki te hopu i te tia i te wākoanga o te tau. I te mea, kei te hapu te tia ka utai nei rātou he rāhui. I whakarite e mātou ko te kotahi rau pauna, te taumaha mo te whakangau. I te mea, e rua rā te roa te whakangau i te teihana o hukunui. I wai hō te rā tuatahi e whakamohi o ia mātou i te teihana nei, ki ari te ai mātou mō te whakangaua popo. And in these coast styles, yesterday horses, today by quad and we still can't get there. But we've seen two deer and about 40 pigs so far. Ahakoa ka mutu te rā ki a mātou, ka tima te tarā mō ngā puaka. Mai i tēnei haora o te ahi-ahi, ka puta ngā puaka ki waho ki ngā wairenga o te whenua. Ka tahi rā hoki. Pigs all over the place, mate. Like the elephant walk out to. I te hukinga o te tira ki te kāinga i hukanui, te wāhi e moi ana mātou mo te pō. I manua reka mātou ki ngā whakakitenga o te ahi-ahi. Kua kite e mātou e tahi wāhi, huri no i te poraka o hikurangi. E tohu ana i reira te mahi a te poaka tariana. Koi nei te whare teihana o hukanui. He kainga tēnei hangaia ki te rākau Māori i ngā tau ko tahi rau ki muri. Hoi anō, ki konei mātou moi ai mo te pō me te whakarite hoki i tā mātou haere a pōpō. We're at our campsite, a place called Huganui. A few of the local uh, characters here. Got Tony over there, zipping on his cup of tea. Get up, bro. Adam. What's your name, bro? Terry. <laughs> mate, I gotta tell you, mate. After today and yesterday, nothing surprised me about this place. You got pigs running all over the place. You got deer. You got blooming wild cattle. That crossbow up there probably belonged to Robin Hood. Hey. You were all not the sweet was born. So, uh, what's happening tomorrow, gentlemen? Where are we off to? We're going over to the old hunt, oh. you know, the old big fellow. Yeah. Oh, we saw one tonight. Mate, we only saw one, I saw about 50. Ah, oh, they're not worth catching, those ones. This one's worth ch catching. Actually, the one you let go, bro? Also, man. That's why there's so many pigs here. Well, yeah, no, that's, you know, all these are uh, sows and whatnot. And these are not really counted as pigs. 
the ones we like to hunt in, get our dogs started and going on a, a ball scent right from the word go sort of thing. Some people are not fortunate enough to have a place in a backyard like this. But uh, at the end of the day, what it comes down to is preserving your stocky. Eh? Yeah. Your kitchen, eh, bro? Yeah. Your kitchen. Look after your cupboard or look after you. Yeah. I think um, more hunters are going to start letting pigs go because we've got younger ones coming on, eh? Younger generation, if we go and kill everything, well, there's nothing there for them. That's right. Look at that pig today. Or maybe in a few years, our young fellas will be with us and they'll be 200 pounds or something. But, the man who lets us come in here and doing the job, he's top man and he just don't let it to everyone. So who's this fellow let you in here, bro? Oh, uh, Paul Johnson. I heard he's a bit of a character too, eh? A bit of a horse whisperer. He's a bit of a hard man too, but oh, he's a what? Hard man in terms of the land, eh? Knows the land? Yeah. Knows the lay of the land. He knows the land. He's pig crazy. Yeah. But he's getting a bit of age on him now. <laughs> We can come in here, we're still useless bastards. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we've, killed, we've killed 300 pigs for them and we're still useless bastards. <laughs> well, they tell me that where we're going tomorrow is the creme of the creme. Mate, what I've seen today. I haven't oh. seen pigs like that for 20, 30 years. We'll see what happens. We can't get you too excited. Or well, just to be below that, that bowl full out there, man, and be a, be well, a buzz. Some good pigs have come out of there. Some good pigs. Hey, there's a few of those blue balls up there too, bro. Yeah, blueies. Oh. Hopefully we'll have a bit of luck tomorrow. And um, Never mind about these pigs, we're going to go straight past those ones. We're going to go straight Ooh. to where we know. We're going to go and get us a pure mountain ball tomorrow. Bluey, eh? Wow, just a mountain ball. From... No, no, there's a couple There's a couple I saw this evening coming out under, underneath the mountain. So that's us. What All time right. we off? Oh, well, no, we'll get going about six, how about six? What about you guys? Can you Sparrow please? Sparrow fart. Sparrow fart, eh? <laughs> <laughs> who's, who, who's on Purukui uh, duties? Oh, well, there must be a camp bitch somewhere around here. Maybe <laughs> 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 <Definitely, laughs> <only> me. <laughs> Alright, Sparrow fart. Sparrow fart. A tērā wiki i rungi a hunting out te aroa, ka haere tonu tā mātou waru waru i rungi i te maunga o hikurangi. I te mea, ko te kotahi rau pauna te taumaha kua whakarite. Ka tukua e mātou e tahi poaka i te pikinga ki runga. The pig came up, they've been taken around and around and came up and they've gone back in again. Kia mau tonu te runga a tērā wiki i tā mātou whakangau haere mo te poaka tariana o te maunga. Here we have the kōwhai, or kōhai, depending on where you're from, tree. Now every part of this tree was used by our people for rongoao medicine. The bark, the inner bark, the branches, the leaves, and even the juice. Now infused bark was used to treat internal ailments like sore throats, and a bit of digestion, things like that. Crushed and boiled bark was used for minor abrasions, sprained ankles, broken limbs, things like that. Now also the ambers from this raka were used to treat ringworm. Something I didn't know about that. From the tree also, our Maori people used to extract yellow dye from these leaves. Now the wood is very durable and is used right throughout the country for fencing purposes. The ashes from the bark can also be used for treating scalp diseases. And when the flowers bloom, it means it's time to plant the kumara, but more importantly for me, it's a sign that the kinners are fat. And as you can see, it attracts all sorts of birds, even our mate the tui. Here we have, <laughs> can you hear the truck anyway, bro? No. Oh. 
the last thing I forgot. What's the last one? It's time to start planning the cover. It's time to plant the kumara, but more importantly for me, it's time the kinners. Thank <laughs> you.